hello everyone in the previous video i have explained you how to find out the local extreme values and the saddle point of a function of two independent variable using second derivative test So in the previous video we have done those questions where the function is defined on the whole domain r cross r and today in this video i will explain you how to find out absolute maxima and absolute minima of a function of two independent variable over a closed bounded region now since we know that what are the possible places where the function may assume maxima and minima these are those interior points of the domain where the first order partial derivatives they are zero secondly these are those interior points of the domain where one of fx and fy or both of them do not exist and the third is the boundary point of the domain so in the previous lecture i have explained to you the questions related to the critical points which are the interior points where the derivative is zero right now in this video i will explain you how to find out the absolute minima and absolute maxima of the function over a closed bounded region so there is one more place where we need to check whether the function has absolute maxima or absolute minima and that is the boundary point right because we are having a closed bounded region so we need to check at the boundary point of the domain also that whether the function has maxima or minima at the boundary points or not now just see with the help of an example suppose we have to find the absolute maxima and minima of the function f of x y 2 plus 2x plus 2y minus x square minus y square on the triangular region in the first quadrant in the first quadrant bounded by the lines x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 9 minus x so what is the question we have to find out the absolute maxima and minima of this function over the triangular region in the first quadrant which is bounded by the lines x0 y0 and y is equal to 9 minus x so in these type of question we first draw the region whatever the region is given to us first of all draw that region so what is the region over here the region is x is equal to 0 line y is equal to 0 line and the line x plus y is equal to 9 right so we have these three lines so by in the first quadrant this is the region where we have to find out the absolute maxima and minima of this function so we have to find out the absolute maxima and absolute minima of the region over the region this call this as o a b so the coordinates of o are 0 comma 0 the coordinates of a are 0 9, 0 and the coordinates of b are 0, 9 
because here your x is zero and here your y is zero, and this equation is x plus y is equal to nine. So when you put y to be zero, you get x is equal to nine. When you put x to be zero, you get y is equal to nine. So these are the coordinates, and we have to find out absolute maxima and absolute minima of the function over this bounded region. Now just see. First of all, we find out the interior point where the function may assume maxima and minima. So for this, we will first find out the partial derivative of this function with respect to x as well as with respect to y. What is the partial derivative of this equation with respect to x? The derivative of two is zero. Two x is two. Two y is zero. Minus x square it is minus two x. Similarly, the derivative of f with respect to y will be 2 minus 2y now put this to be 0 we will get the critical point so here 1 1 is the critical point now clearly this 1 1 is lying inside this region because here the coordinate of x is 1 y is 1 that is not lying on the boundary this that is not lying boundary in this as well as this So this is an interior point where the function may assume maxima and minima. So for this, we can find out its second derivative. It is minus two, which is negative. We can find f y y, which is minus two. We can find f of x y, which is zero. So when we find out the discriminant, we'll see this is minus two into minus two, co minus zero. Which is four, which is strictly greater than zero. So whenever the discriminant is positive and this derivative is less than zero, this implies f has the local maxima at a point one comma one. And what is the value of the function at this point? So when you put x to be one and y to be one in this equation, you will get two plus two plus two minus one minus one. So which is four. right so by using this we will get a interior point an interior point where the function may have maxima or minima so here the function has local maxima at a point 1 1 which is a critical point and the value of the function at this point is 4 now we need to check at the boundary points what are the boundary points this whole line oa is a boundary of this this line ab is also a boundary this bo line is also a boundary so we have to find out the local maxima or local minima over this line over this line and over this line so we first consider the line oa now once again see the figure is this one this equation is x plus y is equal to 9 so this coordinate is 9 comma 0 this is 0 comma 9 Right. This is zero comma zero. Call this as O A B. So along the line O A, the equation of y is zero, and our x is varying from zero to nine. So along this line, y is zero, and x is varying from zero to nine. So in the main function. when we put y to be 0 we get the function in x alone when we put y to be 0 we get a function of x alone so now it is a function of single variable we can find out its interior point since in we know that in case of a function of single variable there are three places where the function may assume maxima and minima the interior points where f dash is zero interior points where f dash is not defined and third is the at end points now since our function is differentiable for all values of x so this is not possible so the possible cases are those interior points where the derivative is zero and the end points now so find out its derivative with respect to x we get 2 minus 2x we put it to be 0 we get x is equal to 
so this is an interior point where the function may as you maximum and minima so when you find it second order derivative you get this is minus 2 which is less than 0 so this implies f has local maxima at a point x is equal to 1 and here the y is 0 also so the point will become 1 comma 0 and the value of the function at this point is when you put x to be 1 and y to be 0 you get 2 plus 2 minus 2 which is 2 right now the end points are the end points are 0 comma 0 and 9 comma 0 so at 0 comma 0 the value of the function is 2 and the value of the function at 9 comma 0 at this end point the value of the function will be 2 plus 2 into 9 minus 9 square so this will be minus 61 right so this is an interior point where the value of the function is 2 this these are the end points where the value of the function is 2 as in minus 61 and this is over the boundary line oa now we have to consider the boundary line ab so boundary line ab so over this boundary line ab what is the equation x plus y is equal to 9 so we can write one variable in the term of other and we can convert the function into a function of single variable by substituting y to be 9 minus x so after simplifying this what will we have so after simplifying this we get the equation will be 20 minus 81 which is minus 61 Minus two x square plus eighteen x. Now we can take the derivative of this and we can find out the critical point. So when we take its derivative with respect to x, we have this is minus four x plus eighteen is equal to zero. So x will be nine by two. So when you put x to be here you will get the value of y which is also 9 by 2 so this is an interior point where the function may as you maxima and minima so now you find out the value of the function at 9 by 2 comma 9 by 2 so at 9 by 2 comma 9 by 2 the value of the function will be minus 61 minus 2 9 by 2 whole square plus 18 into 9 by 2 which comes out to be minus 41 by right so this is an interior po point where the function may as you maxima and minima now we need to check at the end point so the end points are 9 0 and 0 9 so when you put x to be 0 and y to be 9 you will get the value of the function is minus 61 when you put x to be 9 and y to be 0 again the value of the function is minus 61 so the end at the end point the value of the function is this and at the interior point the value of the function is this now we need to check along the line ob so along the line ob the equation is x is equal to 0 and our y is varying from 0 to 9 so now again function will become a function of single variable it's a function of y alone we can find its derivative and we get the critical point as 1 so it will be 0 comma 1 so when you find out its value at 0 comma 1 this comes out to be 2 and at the end point end points are 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 9 So when you find out the value at zero comma zero, it is two. When you find the value at 
zero comma nine. This is minus sixty one. Now, what is absolute maxima and absolute minima? This is that value in the domain where the function is greater than equal to the value of the function for every x y lying in the domain. So, the absolute maxima will be value is minus sixty one two. Two two minus sixty one minus forty one by two, and here it is four. So the absolute maxima will be four, and which is at the point one comma one. And the minimum value of the function is minus sixty one, which is at the point nine comma zero and zero comma nine. So what are the absolute maxima and absolute minima? Absolute maxima of the function. Is at a point one comma one, and absolute maximum value is the function value at one comma one, which is four. Absolute minima exist at point zero comma nine and nine comma zero, and the value of the function at this point is. Minus sixty one. So this is absolute minimum value, and this is absolute maximum value. So in this way, we can find out absolute maxima and absolute minima whenever a function is defined over a closed bounded region. So in this case, we have to consider the interior point as well as the boundary points of the domain. Now, just see with the help of one more example. Let's suppose we have to find out the maximum temperature, absolute maximum temperature, temperatures at the hottest and the coldest point of the plate. If we have a flat circular plate, having the equation x square plus y square is less than equals to one. The plate include the boundary where the equation is x square plus y square is equal to one. This is heated so that the temperature at the point x y is given by T of x y is equal to x square plus two y square minus x. Find the temperatures. At the hottest and the coldest point. On the plate. So this is the region which is given to us. This is a function which is given to us. We have to find out the absolute maxima and absolute minima of this function over this domain. So first of all, we find out the partial derivative of t with respect to x as well as y. We put it to be zero. So from here we get x is equal to half and y is equal to zero. So the critical point is half comma zero. And the temperature at this point is when you put x to be half and y to be zero, you have this is one by four minus one by two, which comes out to be four. Minus one by four. So the value of temperature at a point one com one by two comma zero is minus one by four. So this is an interior point where the this function may have maxima or minima, right? So now we will find out. The temp uh, value of temperature at the boundary point. Now, what is the equation of boundary? It is x square plus y square is exactly one. So we can find out the value of one variable in the terms of other. 
so along the boundary x square plus y is equal equal to 1 the y square will be 1 minus x square so we can convert the function into a function of single variable by substituting the value of y so this is x square plus 2 y square minus x so this comes out to be 2 minus x square minus x so this is a function of x alone we can find out its derivative with respect to x we put it to be 0 we get x is equal to minus half so when you put x to be minus half over here you will get the value of y that comes out to be 1 minus 1 by 4 square root which is root 3 by 2 so the point will be x is equal to minus half and y is equal to plus minus root 3 by 2 So now we will find out the value of temperature at this point. So when your x is minus half and y is root three by two, and when your x is minus half and y is minus square root of three by two, the value of temperature will be two minus one by four. Minus minus plus one by two. So the value of temperature will be nine by four. Right. So now we have to see what is the point where the temperature is maximum and the minimum. So now just see here the value of temperature is minus one by four, and these are the points where the value of temperature is nine by four, right? So this this is a point lying inside the boundary. Okay, so the temperature is maximum, so the hottest. Point is minus one by two and square root of three by two, as well as minus one by two square root of minus three by two, and the temperature at this point is nine by four. The coldest point is a point. where the temperature is minimum and that point is half comma 0 and the temperature at this point is it's minus 1 by 4 so in this way we can find out the absolute maxima and absolute minima of a function defined on some closed bounded region